G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Back Wheel video. Today I'm going to install these here cheap eBay folding motorcycle mirrors onto my KLR650. Let's get into it. Before you watch the whole video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really helps and check out my old content as well. So this is one of my old mirrors that was on the KLR650. Uh, I had a couple of crashes. The glass completely shattered on this one. Uh, rendering it basically useless and I ended up taking off my other mirror this one here because when you're riding off-road and standing up frequently it always hits your arm uh, no matter what angle you put it at you try and push it forward a bit it'll still be on an angle and it hits your arm and it knocks the mirror loose the mirror comes loose all the time and as I'm spinning around and just it ends up being a massive distraction uh, it's a bit of a pain really. So I ended up taking it off and just doing a couple of rides without mirrors. But I have ordered some mirrors off eBay. Now these are just cheap Chinese plastic with steel folding mirrors. Um, they actually don't look too bad. I'll show you the other one how they arrived. So basically they came in this here box. This is really awkward one hand everyone. Came in the box, all wrapped up. Oh. And they come in two separate bits, actually. So it comes in one bit, and then you just screw it onto this bit here. So this bit is actually adjustable uh, with an Allen key. So you're going to loosen off the Allen key, and then you can spin it. And what I'm going to do is, when I'm riding off-road, I'll spin it in. And then when I'm done riding off-road for the day, I'll just spin it back out and then ride home. Well, what else we got in here? Got some other goodies. Tip it upside down. Huh. Oh, okay, so these are for motorcycles with a different thread or a different size thread. You can put these in. See, they're a bit too big or a little for those. But we don't need them because the KLR just uses stock thread. So what I'm going to do is put these together and then um, install on the bike. And then we'll go for a quick spin and see how they are. So these were a massive $20 Australian off eBay. So you're going to get them for like $14 US, $15 US. And... A little kicker to that, I actually uh, made an offer on them. Let's screw this in here, Let's put them together. Made an offer on them and wanted them cheaper, but I bought foot pegs at the same time and I couldn't be bothered waiting for them both. <laughs> so I just bought it for $20. I actually made an offer for like 16 and he accepted it. So you can get them even cheaper, guys, if you want to. All right, so that the screws on there. Make sure that goes up there. Let's pull them apart a bit while we're here. What's that? All right, that just covers that and that pivots as well. Nice. Let's pop that back over there. And this spins up and down like that. Just check this one's the same. We've already done this one, but it's a bit loose. So we'll do that. So that will be, we'll spin them around. That can be my right and that can be the left. I'll just have to bend it around. So the KLR has these stock. I don't think we're going to need these. I don't think we're going to need them at all. I reckon we'll be able to go directly into the mount here. So we'll use this as my left. Thread it in. Easy peasy. Spin them down a bit. Maybe it spins down too. So we're going to use it there. So we'll tighten it there. 14 mil. Yeah, none of your weirds, American sizing everyone. This is Japanese. And then we'll spin that around. It's 14 as well. Oh yeah, that just goes up and down like that. This moves perfectly, works really well. It's a nice kind of action to it. I don't know how much I trust the strength of it. It looks a bit cheap plasticky. Um, that's all right. I'm actually gonna swap this onto that side because see it goes all the way down there but only to there. I want this to fold all the way down on that side, so we'll swap it over. Put that on this side instead. Yeah, that's how I want it. So I'll tighten it there. All right, that's how I want it. See, so it goes all the way down there. That's how I want it. So that's perfect so far. So let's we'll twist that around, make sure it looks good, and chuck the other side on. All right, we'll just slide this one on too. Spin, 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 spin. This, I'm going to orientate it like that. So we'll tighten that up there. 
a little bit loose there too. So use an Allen key to do that up a bit. Yeah, it's pretty loose. So one thing I noticed is when you got them orientated with the Allen key facing towards you, which is really how you want it, just so you need to adjust it. It only goes that far in on that side, but this side goes all the way down. So what I might do is actually flip that around so the bolt's facing here, and then it'll spin all the way down because I don't need to go all the way down here, you know what I mean? So, oh, we'll see how we go. I'll just spin that around and then we'll uh, give it a bit of an assessment. Okay, I've spun that around and that is sweet there. See, that's as far as it goes down there. And then you can fold it all the way in there. Perfect. I'm really happy with that, actually. Oh, she's a little bit stiff, but that's all right. I don't mind that. And one thing I'll say, it's actually got a little bit of give. Uh, it still sticks in its place. It doesn't spin, which is great because... If you knock them in that off-road, it's not gonna loosen them down here. It's still gonna be nice and tight, so I'm happy with that. So what I might do is just go for a quick spin and we'll see how the vibrations and everything are. The quality is okay. It's not amazing. I mean, it's a $20 mirror. It's not gonna be out of control, but I think it's gonna be absolutely completely fine. Um, this plastic here is a little bit weak, kind of, I suppose. I mean, not too bad. Look, comparing it to say a double take, um, you know they're better quality, but I wouldn't say they're amazing quality for the price. For for twenty bucks, <laughs> I'm pretty happy so far. Oh, geez, that's that's noisy, isn't it? All right, we'll take it for a spin, and then we'll go from there. Okay, this is with the bike idling. See, there's a little bit of wobble there. Uh, not too bad. Definitely a little bit of wobble. Not going to deny that though. Then we'll rev it up a bit. It seems to shake even out and then shake when the revs go down again so we'll go down here visibility is pretty good though absolutely fine with them a little bit looking at my elbow here but i need to adjust it yeah that's pretty fine definitely a little bit of vibration in them but they're fine they're completely fine i'm happy with that it's so easy they are to fold in when i'm riding yeah, that's good. Hey, that's really good. I don't mind that at all. So there's that little bit of movement I was talking about. Not that mad about that. Um, we'll see how it goes over time. Just have to keep an eye on it. That's all. All right, that's how the vibration and everything is. Let's go back and have a debrief. Okay, I just got back from my ride testing out the mirrors. I'm pretty happy with these. They are very good for the price. So if you actually look at motorcycle shops and on eBay, these exact mirrors are the ones that are being uh, sold. They just rebrand them pretty much. Uh, these are the cheap mirrors you're gonna get pretty much from everywhere. Uh, so just be wary, if they're like 50 bucks, don't buy them because they are exactly the same as these $20 ones and I could have got them even cheaper. I could have got them for like 17 or $16. So don't buy them for much more than that. Just get them, get them for 20 bucks. Get them for that and be happy. I wouldn't spend 50 bucks or something on them. Are they better than the stock mirrors? For sure, they are definitely better. Uh, for one, uh, hello, <laughs> they fold. So when you're riding off road, you just boop, fold them out of the way and then you can keep riding and be up in the um, pegs and that standing and it won't be hitting your arm and elbow and stuff, which is fantastic. Vibration is fine. Uh, it's not amazing, but definitely tolerable. I don't have an issue with them at all. Um, I'd say they're comparable to the stock ones, to be honest. So if you don't have an issue with the stock ones, you won't have an issue with these. Build quality is okay. Um, look, they're cheap. <laughs> how else do I say it? These are, these are cheap. So the build quality is never gonna be amazing. We'll see how they last. Uh, I'll take it on some good off-road rides um, when I head out next and see how we go. This bit concerns me a little bit. It's like this kind of plasticky. I'm not sure how tough that's gonna be. Um, these bits are just your standard mirrors, I suppose. Like it's just your standard cheap glass and plastic. So it does have a bit of movement, which is good. It does have a bit of movement, so we'll see how that goes. Um, 
so that should, should stop some breaking if you're hitting some leaves and shit, but honestly, I'm gonna fold them out of the way, so I'm not really gonna break them. Maybe when I come off or something, it'll hit it somewhere, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. The only way to really test that is to ride it and um, yeah, see how we go. <laughs> the KLR's got a bit of a beating lately, so I'm trying to ease off on that style of riding. I'm still gonna be doing hard uh, adventure riding, just, you know, not trashing it, trying not to trash the bike. Overall, I'm very happy with these for a cheap folding mirror. You know, I'm stoked. I wanted to get some double takes or something like that, um, but they're so expensive now. I think they're overpriced. They're like 200 Australian for a pair. That's ridiculous. It's so expensive. And I had a look at them. Like, yes, they are good. I like them. But I wouldn't say the quality is $200 mirror quality. Like, they're not that good. I did see once they got a bit more popular, their price went up quite a bit. So, they. I would do exactly the same. That's just good business, isn't it? But I got these because I stumbled across them on eBay. Um, they had some deal if I got a couple of parts. I got them cheaper with Afterpay or something like that. So I tried Afterpay out and these were like $10, um, $10 off. So I'm paying them off at like four installments of $2.25. It's stupidly cheap. If, if I break them, I break them. We'll see how they go. I've already got broken ones on there, on the KLR, like those old ones there, they're broken or they're just a pain in the ass to use. So I'm excited to see how these go. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. In terms of fit, you don't have to do any mods. Um, they just fit straight on the stock KLR mounts, which are just your standard mounts, they're kind of like a 10 mil thread. So you don't have any dramas there. Um, they just fit straight on, so that is fantastic. I'll put a link to the ones I bought and put some photos up so you know the kind if you want to get some cheap ones yourself. Uh, we'll do that. And um, have a look. As I said before, these are the same style as all of them. You look at all the eBay ones, they're exactly the same as these pretty much. So don't go overspending on them. Just get them for cheap and see what you think of them. All right. That's it for me, everyone. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like and subscribe button. There's gonna be a ton more KLR 650 content. I did buy some foot pegs to replace the crappy stockers. However, they didn't fit. I actually installed them earlier and they don't fit properly. So I have to do that another time and return them and get another set. That's all good. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you check out my other content. All right, keep it on the back wheel, everyone. Catches.